What up, what up, everybody? Welcome into the Fit CEO Podcast. I am your host, Chad Molyneux, the CEO of the Next Level Coaching Academy and the creator of the Fit CEO Podcast. I got a special one for you guys. As always, today we are going to be talking about Ascension programs, all right? So I have a whole entire pre-recorded training on this. This will be a longer podcast, admittedly, but probably one of the more groundbreaking ones. Because if I'm being just completely truthful, I do not feel that there are a lot of business coaches in the space that talk about Ascension programs. And essentially what an Ascension program is, is you have your core offer, and then you have an offer where people can ascend into, and these programs tend to be uh, even more high ticket than your core offer is supposed to be. And they also tend to go for a longer length of term, like 12 months, sometimes even 18 month long programs. And if you can nail down this promise, or sorry, if you can nail down this product, this promise, lol, if you can nail down this offer, this product, this is going to dramatically increase lifetime value. And there's only two ways your business can grow. You can either make clients worth more, or you can sell more clients. That's it. All right. And in light of increasing the lifetime value or making your clients worth more, I believe that an Ascension program has the greatest leverage in order to do that. So I have a whole entire training for you guys. Admittedly, it's long. I believe it's 38 minutes, but buckle up, take notes. If you are listening to this one in the car, that's fine. Continue to listen, but I highly recommend that you come back with a notepad, with pen, and you check it out. All right, I'll see you guys on the inside. Peace. All right, y'all, the long-awaited creating your Ascension program. So what exactly is an Ascension program? An Ascension program and your core offer are synchronistic. Hopefully I said that right. The core offer creates the need to ascend. All right, so here's an example. So we have NLCA. Okay, so let's use NLCA as an example. So we have NLCA certified coach. This program is um, not decided, designed. This program is designed to help new online fitness coaches go from zero to $20,000 a month. By the end of that program, the entrepreneur has some hires, but mostly is doing everything on their own. This leaves them feeling burnt out and needing to learn how to scale their company properly from a staffing standpoint excuse me, in a revenue standpoint, insert master coach to solve that problem. All right. So as you can see from the example, the core offer creates the need to ascend. Another way to view it is that your Ascension program solves the problem your core offer creates. This is yet another way to increase customer lifetime value while continuing to solve your client's challenges and meeting their needs. All right. So long story short, what an Ascension program is, is your core offer can only solve so much. So by the end of the term of the core offer, there is a new problem that's been created, right? So sticking with NLCA as the example here, the core offer teaches them how to start and take their business to $20,000 a month, all right? But it doesn't teach them how to, how to create a seven-figure business, right? So it, it creates a new problem, which then insert your Ascension program to solve that new problem. All right, so let's go ahead and create your Ascension program. Okay, so step, num step number one is creating your Ascension Program's offer solution statement. So date all the way back in Certified Coach when you guys went through the Identifying Your Ideal Challenge Worksheet, you guys are actually just going to do that again, but for this program specifically. All right, so I want you to identify the problem and challenge that your business solves and who it solves it for. So the very first question that you have to answer is what, what problem does your Ascension Program solve or another way to view it is what, what problem does your core offer create? All right, so here are some examples. So your initial program may only help them create their initial transformation. Therefore, your Ascension program can teach them how to sustain it. All right, your initial, here's another example. Your initial program may only teach them physical health and well-being. Therefore, your Ascension program teaches them XYZ component of health, right? So if you want to have more of a holistic health program, right, maybe your initial program teaches them that one physical component, right? But maybe they need to ascend to learn the next aspect of, uh, of health and well-being. All right, here's another one. Your initial, pro your initial program teaches them how to achieve a transformation with a coach. There, therefore, your Ascension program teaches them how they, can, um, how, they, how, how they can be their own coach, right? So this is just a slight spinoff of point one. However, point one may not teach them how to coach themselves, right? So maybe, maybe the first program is like, hey, we're going to coach you, and then we're going to teach you how to coach yourselves. 
All right, so going deeper on the type of client that will uh, do your Ascension program. So I'm not gonna go through every single one here because you know I've, I've taken you all through this exercise in the Certified Coach program. But what I want you to do is I want you to take yourself through this exercise and answer the question of what type of client will do your Ascension program from your core offer. What are their goals? What's their why? What's their pain? What's their fears? What's their cha challenge and problem that needs to be solved? What do they need to solve that challenge and problem? What are some myths that they believe? What are some words that they use associated to their goals and challenges? Okay, uh, you know, here's just an example showing you guys an example of how to fill it out, like what, what it should look like. All right, and then you're gonna create your offer solution statement for your Ascension program. All right, so once again, this is something that I've already taken y'all through. I've taken y'all through it in the identifying your ideal challenge module in the certified coach program. I just want you to do it again for your Ascension program. All right, so take yourself through this exercise. All right, once we've taken ourselves through that exercise, we now can move on to step number two. Okay, so step number two, what will the client get? All right, so improving the offer. So key to success here. The main thing to keep in mind is that your offering must solve the core problem created from your main offer. Here's the note. We are not going to dramatically change the structure of the offering from your core offer, meaning your Ascension program isn't going to look too different from your core offer in the, in the context of what the client gets. We are going to focus on a few key distinctions to improve the offering. Remember, the main reason someone buys your Ascension program is to solve their next logical problem. The fact that the service and offer is better is just a bonus, all right? So people don't buy into your Ascension program because the service is better. They buy into your Ascension program because that solves their next problem. It's, but however, your, your Ascension program, the offering itself, the service, service itself should still be better than your core offer. But like I said, the key thing to remember is that's not the reason they should buy it. The reason they should buy it is because it solves their next problem. All right. So here's an example of offer improvement. I'm going to continue to use NLCA as the example here. All right. So here's the offer for certified coach, our first program. And here's our offer for master coach, our second program. Okay. So using NLCA as the example here, there are, there are key differences between certified coach and master coach. There's not a ton of differences, but there's key differences. The problem it solves is the first and main key difference. The next key difference is who it solves it for, meaning an individual with a desire to achieve $100,000 a month is a higher quality prospect. And when I say higher quality prospect, I just mean by their desires. It doesn't mean they're a better person, right? In the car industry, they would consider someone who's in market for a Lambo as a higher quality prospect than someone who's in market for a Honda by comparison. It has nothing to do with if they're a better human or if their life is better in any regard. It just means that their goals are greater. Therefore, they're you know higher quality prospect from a purely business aspect. So I didn't want that to get misconstrued there, okay? <laughs> All right, the next, the next key difference here is the material being taught to solve the problem, right? So the, the material on Master Coach is clearly different than the material on Certified Coach. All right, the next key difference is, <clears throat> excuse me, Certified Coach offers bi-weekly Zoom check-ins, where Master Coach offers weekly Zoom check-ins. Master Coach has four group calls instead of three. Master Coach has certifications for their assistant, uh, future assistant coaches. Master Coach has exclusive in-person events for only Master Coach. And Master Coach has more access to me to chat. All right. So overall, as you can see, there aren't too many distinct differences in the offer itself. The main difference is the content and the problem that we're solving. So it's really important when you're creating your Ascension program. That's a really key thing to keep in mind here. All right. Options you have. Uh, cool. All right. For a second, for a second, I thought I was, I was not recording. So I was like, oh no, that, that would not be good. All right. So options you have for offer improvement. All right. So improving the Ascension program offer. All right. So you can change the vehicle in which check-ins are done. So maybe in your core offer, check-ins are done with voice memo, right? Maybe now in your, in your Ascension program, they're done with Loom, right? Or maybe they were done with Loom in your core offer and now they're Zoom calls for your Ascension program, right? So that's one option. You, you, and you don't have to do these. I'm just giving you options, all right? One option is you can change the vehicle in which their check-ins are done. 
The next option is you can increase the frequency of check-ins, right? So you can increase the amount of times they're getting checked in, right? For example, bi-weekly to weekly or weekly to two times in one week. If you go two check-ins in one week, I would make the second one more casual, like a text check-in or a voice memo check-in. I wouldn't do two calls in one week unless you are charging super high ticket, like over a thousand dollars a month, or you have an extremely special population that needs two calls in one week. Okay. Uh, the next thing here is uh, unique aspects. So th these these are a couple things, like I said, that you can change for your offer. The next things that you could potentially change for your offer is unique aspects. These must be aligned with solving the core problem of your Ascension program, though. All right. So for example, you could you could have a course, right? So your Ascension program can have a course. This must be something your audience wants, though. Not once, but wants. And I would pull the audience first before you decide to spend a lot of time on building out a course. Reason being is, from my experience, I used to build courses for my fitness clients. And what I've learned is that they never purchased fitness coaching for a course. They purchased fitness coaching for a result. So the only way that I would justify you spending a lot of time on a course, because it takes a lot of time. You guys see the length of these videos. It takes a lot of time. The only way I would justify it is if your Ascension program teaches something different than just a transformation. For example, it teaches them how to coach themselves, or it teaches them more mindset stuff, or it teaches them more, um, you know, emotional well-being or something along those lines, right? Something, something that's separate from fitness itself. All right, other unique act aspects that you can add into your Ascension program, you can have unique in-person events for this client base only. You can have a one time a month, one-to-one -one FaceTime or Zoom training. This could be a workout you guide them through, or it could be you, know, you, you FaceTime them and you guys do meal prep together, or you go grocery shopping together. And this would be with your assistant coaches. It doesn't have to be with you, okay? The next thing is you can have specific done for you services with um, your Ascension program, this must be exclusive from your core offer. So if your core offer already has done for you services, maybe your Ascension program has better done for you services or more done or more done for you services. So you can either change the quality or the quantity of done for you services. Okay, you can have additional group calls or the client success reps. Maybe you don't do client success reps for um your core offer and maybe you only do client success reps for your ascension program that's another way to view it as well all right the last thing that you can change about the offer in your ascension program is more access to you okay so all your clients want more access to you you don't have to coach these clients one-to-one -one, but how can you give more of you to them all right so ways that i do this is you can be in their whatsapp chats uh, with their coaches specifically, right? So I'm in all of the master coaches one-to-one -one WhatsApp chats, all right? You can also host group calls, right? Or you can think of any other creative way that they can get more of you without taking up too much of your CEO time. Okay, so these are key distinctions that you guys should think through when it comes to creating your Ascension offer. Okay, next steps. Now we're gonna actually create your Ascension program offer template, all right? So we're gonna create what this is gonna look like. All right, so I'm going to leave this very general. You guys are master coaches now. You guys are, are big boys and girls, and you guys need to be, in, be able to have your own creative input without me giving you all the answers, okay? So I'm going to give you the template here. You have to answer the questions and create it yourself, though. All right, so check-ins. What is the check-in cadence going to be for your Ascension program? What is the check-in vehicle, meaning voice memo, loom, zoom what is what additional check-in perks will be provided if any community what additional aspects of community did they get resources and software uh, softwares what additional resources or softwares will they have access to protocols uh what about the original pro protocols listed below changes if anything all right so these are the original uh, proposed protocols for your for your core offer. What about this changes, if anything, or is there additional aspects? Overall, as mentioned before, the main reason one buys your Ascension program is to solve their next problem created by the core offer. When it comes to changes in the offer, think check-in vehicle, frequency of check-ins, additional resources, more access to you, and increased level of community. All right, so we just created your program offer template. 
All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to define the lengths of term. All right, so the problem that your ascension program generally solves requires a longer length of term. Here are things to stay away from. Going month to month with clients um, and month to month options really, you know, have high churn rates, low retention rates, and attract non-committal clients, which we want no part of. All right, so don't do an ascension program that has month to month option. All right, anything under three months is going to be too short. And then having multiple time domains to choose from, since the goal of this program is LTV. Uh, yeah, we should have multiple time domains to choose from since the goal of this program is to increase LTV and solve their long-term challenges. Okay, here are things to consider. I'd have two lengths of, length of terms max for your Ascension program. One as your main offering and one as a down sale. All right, so I'll, I'll show you all this in a minute. All right, I'd make the space between um, between time domain options significant just in, just in case the clients don't want to stay in your program long term. All right, here's what I mean. Personally, I believe the most appropriate length of term for an Ascension program is 12 months as your core offering and six months as your down sell. So when you're selling your Ascension program to someone, you're pitching them the 12 month. And if they give you objections, you can down sell them into the six month. However, if you feel your offer solution statement requires longer, you could try 18 months as the thing that you're trying to sell and then nine months as the down sell. All right, here's your action item. Define your two lengths of term, two lengths of term for your Ascension program. Okay, now we're moving on to step three, which is the investment. All right, so unlike your core offer, we will only provide a payment plan option and a pay in full option for your Ascension program. Since the program is longer, having a payment plan option instead of presenting it as a three pay and two pay option creates a little bit more flexibility for the client, which may be necessary since the price is going to be so much long, uh, larger for your Ascension program. All right, let me give you some examples here. All right, so for Master Coach, as you can see, we, we present a payment plan option and a pay in full option over the course of the 12 months. If we, say, if we presented this as a three pay and a two pay, it wouldn't provide enough options for the individual, right? And especially since the price point is so much, hard, uh, so much uh, larger, um, expecting them to pay it over two to three payments is, is not always reasonable. Okay, so here are your Ascension program investment options. So starting point. So a good rule of thumb is that your pricing for your Ascension program should be two and a half to three and a half, the uh, three and a half times the amount of your core offer. All right, here's an example. So certified coach payment plan is eight nine nine seven, and master coach is thirty two thousand. That's a three and a half x difference. All right, so twelve. Uh, so giving you more examples here. So one option you could do is for twelve months. Let's say you do $5,000 on a payment plan and $4,100 pay in full, that's a 17% discount to pay in full. Your Ascension down sell would be six months at a $4,000 payment plan and a 3320 pay in full, 17% discount. Note, the down sell should be roughly 20% less than your main Ascension offer. Okay, so overall, feel free to price how you feel fit uh, for what you choose for your custom offering. Personally, I don't think Ascension programs for 12 months lengths of term should be less than $5,000. I do think these should be higher, higher ticket items because they get more and it solves their next problem. All right, here are your action items. I want you to create your pricing for each length of term. And then now that you have your Ascension program created, please go back to step two, packaging restructure in the mastering your core offer module and ensure you have your pricing and length of term appropriately set for your core offer. So remember when we were going over your core offer, how I was talking about lengths of term and how you should do it for you know, three or six months or four or six months or just three months or just four months or just six months. I want you to go back and, and really define what that length of term is gonna be now that you know what your ascension length of term is going to be. All right, step four, building out your ascension program. All right, so we have a document for you guys. All right, so no, this will be difficult, uh, or sorry, this will be different from, I'm sure it'll be difficult too. <laughs> this will be different from the certified coach program in the sense that we are challenging you to create this information. 
why y'all are hiring CEOs in this challenge of offer creation is an invaluable skill and experience. So please leverage your one-to-one -one coach if you get stuck. All right, so Ascension onboarding. So basically what I'm saying here is a lot of this, a lot of this here is the same frameworks that we already coached you through and certified coach in terms of creating your offering. We want you to go through the same process for creating your Ascension program. All right, so the very first thing you have to do is you have to identify what is onboarding going to look like for my Ascension program? What are the activation points going to look like for my Ascension program? All right, from there, what is, what is the actual step-by-step -step onboarding going to look like? All right, from there, how, how do you make your onboarding memorable for, for your Ascension program? All right, so I'm purposely leaving, leaving this very general because I want you guys to really develop this invaluable skill and experience of being able to create your own offers. All right, but the very first thing you have to do is you have to create your onboarding process. All right, and this will guide you on how to do that. And if you get stuck, please leverage your one-to-one -one coach. Once you've created your onboarding, you now need to create your week-to-week -week process. All right, so what does the week-to-week -week process look like? All right, what does the check-in template and process look like? Is there any done-for-you services? All right, then you need to create your client roadmap. All right, so what does the client roadmap look like? This should all be ringing a bell because we went over this in Certified Coach as well. You're just redoing it for your Ascension program. All right, then you want to determine what is your roster cap going to be for this program, barring that obviously the service is a little bit different. Maybe you're doing Zoom calls now, right? So the roster cap should be different. It could be the same, but it probably is going to be different. All right, and then this last one, I am going to talk a little bit more in depth on this one is client success metrics and management. All right, so as you can see, it's the same client success metrics uh, that we've taught for all the previous programs. All right, however, at this stage, let me see where I wrote it. All right, at this stage, we're now gonna be tracking a lot of different client success metrics for a lot of different programs. So I just wanna give you clarity on this, all right? So what you wanna do is if it were me, I would track group, my group program, my core offer and my Ascension program separately. All right, I would track all the same things for each program separately, all right? And then I would track a total holistic view of all the programs combined. So the averages of all the programs for satisfaction, resign, uh, churn rate, lifetime value, the whole the holistic view. All right. So once again, I'm going to say this one more time because it could be a little bit confusing, but I would track client success metrics separately for group, separately for core, separately for Ascension. And then I would have a holistic, my company client success and then the averages of all your programs. Uh, for LTV here, um, I just wanted to separate out some targets. So your core offer, your LTV should be around four months and $2,000. Ascension should be around eight months and $5,000. And this is just like what, what uh, when you go through this equation, what you should see. So once again, core offer, length of term, for, yeah, the average length of term should be four months. The average you get paid over that length of term should be 2K. Ascension, eight months, 5K group three months 600 to a thousand dollars and then holistic which would be all three of these combined six months three to forty five hundred dollars if you're in that range you'll be you'll be solid all right your ascension program you should also do client surveys i walk you through how to do client surveys you should address client surveys the same you do with every other program all right the last thing that you should do when you're when you're mastering your your ascension program design here is you should go through this exercise again of creating your marketing message and you should create your unique angle for your Ascension program. <clears throat> this is both for marketing your Ascension program and also creating the coaching philosophy behind your Ascension program. All right. If you remember when we went through a unique angle in the ads module and certified coach, uh, we said that this is, you know, a means of marketing, but it also should be um, how you actually coach your clients as well, the philosophy in which you coach your clients as well. All right, so that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, obviously, it's going to take some time, but those are all exercises that you guys have already gone through from the Certified Coach um, program. All right, step number five. How many more steps do we got? Five, six, seven. All right, we got a quite a few more uh, steps here. So let me take a quick sip. Okay. 
So step number five, rolling out to current and past clients. So once you've created your Ascension program, how do we actually roll this out to your current and your past clients? All right, so step one is announcements. So four weeks out from launch, you want to announce your new Ascension program via a video that you will circulate throughout the community. All right, so here's the video framework. The very first thing in the video you want to do is you want to paint the picture of the problem they may be experiencing from the current offer. Example, you, you may be getting great results, but you are worried you won't be able to sustain it, right? So really highlighting uh, and really talking about what they may be experiencing, all right? Once you have successfully covered the pain and the problem they may be experiencing, you want to say that as a result of recognizing you guys, uh, recognizing that you guys have created a new program that solves this very problem. Then you want to relay the name of the program and its offer solution statement, right? So naming your, uh, this is an aside, but naming your Ascension program should be easy. Think of the problem it solves or the dream outcome the coach wishes to accomplish. All right. So we named this program master coach because our client is going from certified coach to now being a master, which is ultimately what they're after, what they're desiring, right? So that's a little aside, but coming back to the main point here, you really want to relay at this point the name of the program and the offer solution statement. So the challenge you solve. All right. Then you want to go over this program's unique, unique angle or philosophy. All right. So you just created your unique angle. You want to go over that here. Right. So here's how we solve that problem step by step. Here's the philosophy, if you will. All right. Then you want to go over what the program includes. So this is what is the offer and the service. And then you want to do a call to action to a specific type form for the program. You want to post this or a variation of this one time a week for the four weeks leading up to launch. This should go into all chats, lists, groups, or anywhere that you have past or current clients living. All right, anyone who buys, like anyone who purchases this program, make sure that you um, make it known. Uh, like in all the client chats or wherever, all right? And the reason you wanna make it known is you wanna create a sense of FOMO, all right? So shouting out so-and-so, they just joined our new program, let's all, you know, hype them up. <clears throat> Excuse me. The last thing you wanna do in the announcement section or like the launch period is I would offer Q&A opportunities for clients to ask questions about the Ascension program. So this could be a Facebook Live in your community. This could be uh, on a call, a community call. This could be in the WhatsApp chats just providing opportunity to, for, for people to ask questions and continue to talk about this program. All right, I do have a couple of examples in here. So here's an example of me covering the master coach philosophy that we sent out to prospects. So like covering our unique angle, if you will. And then here's an example of me covering NLCA 2.0, which is, you know, more, so, more or less aligned with the framework that we have listed out here. Okay. Step two for launch is going to be manual reach outs. So the most successful method of getting people to upgrade um, is getting people to, or sorry, the most successful method of getting upgrade calls booked will be manual reach outs. Like any outbound strategy, the more people you reach out to, the better. All right. And, and the people we're reaching out to here specifically are current and past clients. We want to launch it to our current client base first. Also, I don't know if this is a question you have. And you can refer back to the master offer, um, the master coach offer funnel. You won't sell your Ascension program right off the bat. Only people who have gone through your core offer can be sold the Ascension program. Why? Because the core offer creates the need for the Ascension program. Okay. Here's a simple message framework for past clients. So reach out, check in, see how life has been, and see how their past progress is going. Let them know that you created a new program that solves XYZ problem and ask if they're interested in seeing more info. If they say yes, send them the hype video and say you'll follow back up in a couple of days. A few days later, you'll ask them what they thought of the video. If they think the program is aligned with what they need right now, um, or sorry, then you're going to ask if they think the program is aligned with what they need right now. If they say yes, you're going to book them up for a, an upgrade call. If they say no, no sweat. All right, here's the simple message framework for current clients. So you're gonna reach out and check in on how progress is going. You're gonna ask them if they watched the hype video uh, and, and what they thought. So obviously it's already circulating around your, your client base, right? So you're gonna ask them if they've watched it. If they didn't watch it, then you're gonna send it to them and follow up in a few days. A few days later, or if they watched it, you're then gonna ask if uh, they think the program is aligned with what they need right now. If they say yes, book them for an upgrade call. If not, no sweat. 
No, I would offer all current and past clients 10 to 15% off only for this initial launch. And I would work that into the outbound pitch and I would work that into the marketing as well. So they can only take access of this 10 to 15% discount on this initial launch. If they don't take action on, it on this initial launch, it's going to be obsolete. All right. So that's how we launch this in the sense of getting your current and past audience, sorry, your current and past clients to, per, uh, to purchase. Okay, now we're gonna move on to step six, which is adjusting your retention process. So step one, in your, uh, in your assessment form that you send out four weeks out, you're gonna add in this question. So bringing it all the way back to the retention module that we went over in Certified Coach, I want you to add this question into that assessment form that you send four weeks out before the client expires. So you're gonna say, we have a program called XYZ that solves challenge. Are you interested in hearing more about this program at this point? Also in the assessment, I would add your hype video <clears throat> that you created um, and have them watch it as well. <clears throat> and I would just put that as a link at the bottom of the assessment. Okay, step two, uh, the new retention closing script to re-sign upsell or downsell. This script can be used when students come to the end of their term with the core offer or Ascension offer. Use the group upsell script for the group program. All right, so this, this is gonna be your new re-sign script at the end of the core offer. All right, so basically you're gonna build rapport for the first one to two minutes. You're gonna transition. You're gonna spend one to three minutes highlighting any successes. You're gonna go over the game plan that you have laid out prior to the call based on their assessment form. You're gonna ask, uh, you're gonna ask um, if they have any other questions. And then you're gonna see, say, sweet, well, I know you mentioned thinking about XYZ program can help you solve XYZ goal. Are you open to hearing about our renewal and upgrade options? All right, if they need to stay in the core offer. So based on you know, where they're at, their results and whatnot, if you personally feel like it's, it's ethical that they should stay in the core offer, then you're gonna say, if you think, or, or sorry, reading point number six here, if you think they need to re-sign because they haven't met the objective of the core offer, then go over the lengths of term, have them choose one, provide any consulting, and then pitch them the core offer. If you feel like they are ready for your Ascension program um, because they have accomplished the goal of the core offer, then tell them that and ask if they'd like to see your XYZ program. From there, you're gonna share your screen and show them in a slide presentation, your Ascension program. So the, the slide presentation that you created for your initial sales calls, you can add a few slides, keep the same structure, add a few slides that cover your Ascension program as well. Regardless if you think they need to stay in the core offer or you're gonna upsell them, you're gonna pitch and you're gonna close. Okay, and then the downselling to group coaching we've already went over. All right, so uh, a little note here. If you have assistant coaches uh, running your retention process and they are not Ascension or group coaches, then I'd give them a commission for upselling or downselling their client. If they re-sign them into their own roster, their commission is they get to continue to work with that client. This way, they are still incentivized to ascend or downsell if that's what's best for the client. Okay, so if you have the model where assistant coaches are doing the re-sign calls for you, it would be very wise to give them an additional incentive if they do ascend or do downsell, because it's very likely that that individual isn't also an ascension coach and isn't also a group coach. So that means that they're not going to get the benefit of continuing to coach that client. So you should give them an additional commission if they do ascend or if they do downgrade. All right, here's what that commission should look like. 5% of the ascension package is a fair commission. And then for the group, if they end up downselling them into the group, I'd give them 5% of three months pay of the group program as a fair commission. So if it's $200 a month for your group program times three, that's 600, 600 times 5% is $30. The reason I chose that is data shows that with a group program, the average length of term is three months. So if we're just assuming that everyone stays for three months, because this person sold the person, it's likely that that sale will gross you 600. So they should get 5% of the projected sale. Okay, here's a little note. We will discuss later, um, but I'm a big fan of a closer taking the re-sign call because there is no alternative motive to keep them on a roster. This way they could do what's best for the client. We'll talk about that later on, but just wanted to throw that out there. All right, the last thing I wanna cover about your Ascension program is assistant coaches. So you're probably wondering like who coaches the Ascension people. So let's go over that, who? 
Assistant coaches for your Ascension program will be separate than for your core offer. This is to ensure that the coach has one singular focus in terms of philosophy, offer solution statement, offer and service, and type of client. This assistant coaching role can and should be considered a promotion within your coaching department. So essentially what this is saying is that you should have coaches designated to their offer. So you should have co uh, assistant coaches that are designated to your core offer, and you should have assistant coaches that are designated to your Ascension offer. The group, you can have people who do your core offer also do the group or Ascension who also do the group. That's totally fine. Um, but for core and Ascension, you should have assistant coaches that are only focused on that one offer. It just keeps it things simple. It's easy for the coach. It's easy for the client, um, the whole nine yards. Also, this creates a promotion tier within your, within your, your, um, your assistant coaching or coaching department, right? Because you have people who are assistant coaches for your core offer, and you have people who are assistant coaches for your core offer and the group. And then now people can get promoted to be Ascension coaches as well. All right, let's quickly cover pay for Ascension coaches. All right, so I know I covered this new way of paying your assistant coaches in the um, certified coach module, so I'm not going to cover that again, but I just wanted to go over uh, specifically how much more an Ascension coach should get paid relative to somebody who's coaching your core offer. All right, but go through the other steps. Like I said, I already went through that in the client deliver, uh, the assistant coach module in certified coach. Um, but let's go over the difference between your core offer, assistant coaches, and your Ascension. All right. So um, identify the pay variable for being below hitting or exceeding KPI. With the industry standard for assistant coaching, coaching Ascension programs priced at 5K or more being between 70 to 100K a year. So if your Ascension program is $5,000 or more, the industry average for an assistant coach for an offer like this will be between 70 to $100,000 a year. And I tried to fall on this range with 100K being the high end of the range and 70K being the low end of the range. All right, you wanna keep in mind that we still want our margins to be 70 to 80%. All right, so here's an example. So if, you're, if your Ascension assistant coach is exceeding KPI, maybe they get $150 per month if you charge $600 a month. That would still be a 75% margin. All right, maybe they, if they are hitting KPI, maybe they get $120 a month if you charge $600 a month, and that's an 80% margin, and $90 a month per client charging $600 a month, and that's an 85% margin if they are below KPI. All right, so um, that's the big difference, though. The big difference, though, is that industry average for Ascension assistant coaches is going to be seventy dollars to $100,000 a year. All right, so a couple additional notes is their roster sizes may be smaller because they have greater output. So make sure that the pay is getting them within that industry standard of 70 to 100K a year. All right, you're gonna wanna run your assistant coach pay by, by your one-to-one -one coach with us before making this official. So go through the exercises and then present your uh, assistant coach pay for Ascension one-to-one -one coaches to your one-to-one -one coach and master coach, and we'll give you the thumbs up. All right, in terms of managing these coaches, in large part, managing Ascension coaches is the same as managing your core offer coaches. Some additions may include ensuring they are fulfilling on extracurricular aspects of the offer, reviewing one-to-one -one Zoom calls if you do one-to-one -one Zoom calls in this offer, adjusting the end-of-week check-in questions to match this program, and tailoring any meeting or check-ins to match the offer they coach for. All right. That is going to take us to the end of this very long module. That's going to conclude the Ascension program, and that's going to include mastering the overall offer advancement. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.